Howdy, Internet. Uh, this is episode three of Ask Dr. Mike. I'm David Heron, a designer on Swarm. And I'm Dr. Mike Hayward, the AI guy. All right, Poindexter. I was talking to Pete uh, just last week, and he was telling me Swarm is about points. What do you think about that? Yes, it's about AI and points. Uh, the points are those pick bulbous things you're picking up right there. Any Swarm Mike touches them, and you collect those points. Points? But I can't seem to unlock the next level. I can't get enough points. You're probably not using the multiplier correctly. Every time you collect pickups, you're building your buffer score as well as your multiplier. Then when the multiplier times out, the two are multiplied and added to your total score. Boom! 130,000 points. That's pretty good, isn't it, Doc? You'd think so with all that peggle action going on up there, but in reality, if you'd kept your multiplier alive, you'd get a higher total score. Okay, so Swarm's about points, but it's also about moving forward. Moving forward, and the way you keep that time buffer live is you keep getting points. Okay, what just happened there? There was a big bright flash. In the oh, that was you going through a checkpoint. Every time you cross a checkpoint, we take a snapshot of your buffered score and add it to your total score. So I just doubled everything? You basically doubled your score. Hey, Dr. Mike, this is one of my favorite AI parts in the game. I get to cram my guys in these tubes here. But it takes a lot of intelligence. So but it also takes a lot of time, and I'm kind of worried because it looks like my multiplier is going to run out. Kill someone? Yeah. Why would I kill someone? Because the other way to keep your multiplier alive is by killing Swarmite. So when there's no pickups around to keep the multiplier alive, you have got to kill some blue guys. Get keep moving, points. keep getting points. And if there's no points to get, you got to sacrifice some guys to keep that multiplier alive. Okay, what do I do here? There's not, there's no, there's no pickups. What do I do, Dr. Awesome. Mike? So there's no pickups around here, so you're going to have to kill some guys. Bashing would be a good way to do it. Every time you bash something, kills a few guys at the front of the bat. It'll also expose more points. All right, so I'm just going to keep bashing. Death keep is good. Player. It's a game about right. points and death. Okay, what just happened there? I lost too much all my death. guys. Too, too much. That's your medical opinion? <laughs> That's right. Too much death. That took you back to the checkpoint, so you lost your multiplier and all your buffered score and went back to the score you had when you passed through the, multi through the checkpoint first oh. time. I feel misled. You're a doctor of lies. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks, Doc. Thanks for the tips. I'm sure I'll be able to do better the next time I play. All right, so I'm Dr. Mike. This is episode three of Ask Dr. Mike. Thanks, I'm David Heron. <laughs> See you later, <laughs> internet. Bye, <laughs> thanks. Okay, try it again. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect.